Alrighty. So today we're playing with this 460. It runs at high RPM with a non-OD transmission. Uh, so it seems to be loving to kill fan clutches. Um, so you can see, I've, you can see in there, I've taken out the fan clutch and fan blade that's here now. That's what's here. It's a Duralast fan clutch. Uh, I drive the truck about twice a week, 50 miles each time. And in about four to six months, these things fail. Uh, we figured that they just probably can't handle the high RPMs. Uh, normal highway speed, about 70, 75. We're at 3,500 to 4,000 RPM. So we're just figuring that they can't handle it because they keep going out and then you put a new one in and it works fine. So there's the old fan clutch with the fan blade still attached to it. Uh, what we have here is a couple of parts I was actually able to order at AutoZone. We have a uh, universal fan blade, although I might have messed up. This one's a little smaller. Um, but the continuous flow should matter. So we're going with the direct fan blade. We've got the uh, spacer kit from Mr. Gasket. So this just goes here like this. And then, uh, of course, it's adjustable depending on what you're fitting. And they give you four bolts with these. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these, but these uh, lock locking type uh, star washers. Or we call them star washers. I don't really call them a lock washer. And we got a couple of bolts. The, most everything on here is half inch so at least everything that was on there is half inch this is 7 16 okay so this is going to be half inch all right so the way this works is we got to shove this thing in there put these bolts in and that's pretty much it now i did take loose the fan shroud uh, to make it a little easier for insulation that way i can get to the bolts a little easier We've got a socket wrench right there the half inch on it Fan shroud is loose. We've got four bolts here. I'll put those right there out of the way. Those wires, I don't need those right now. I grabbed a 7 16 in case I was going to need it, but I got two half inches. One's got a ratchet on it. So, first thing we're going to do is gonna put our spacer on there. Just get that on there. Get it lined up. Will this spacer work? Ooh, 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 maybe not. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Nope. Not gonna work on the 460. Drill it out. That a motherfucker. Drill it out. Might have to, I might have to modify that bastard. How about here? Yeah, see that's an exact tight fit right there, so. Fuck. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. There's a lady. That's not gonna work. A uh, lady? We got um, lots of, there's lots of ladies. Same truck as yours. Okay. Our starter's stuck on. This? Same truck like this. Now, you know what that is? The uh... I tried that. It doesn't... Take can... it off? Huh? It said it's stuck on. Start the truck up and then disconnect the battery, the starter wire from that. Hmm. That or the starter itself is staying engaged. Which in that case, you just get a new starter. You can try uh, hitting the starter on those. I tried that already. And sometimes that works. I would just go and freaking measure this hole. And then... Well, I know what you're thinking, but that's going to probably be like three quarter. And that's more like half inch. Um... Blade bent. Mm, it's got a little chewed up, but it's not bad. Blade works. What's wrong with that? Spacer and that blade combo are probably the wrong for this truck. I probably should have checked that a little more thoroughly. We're gonna need. Huh? It's new. Oh, you, you, I just, now I just, I, to I, go I just direct? replaced it. I'm just ordered the direct so I can get the direct part done. But. Not sure if I want to drill that or if I want to uh, just order the right one, but there's only like two other ones you can order. Which means I need to get a drill and a bit. And a bitch? I might have to get one of them too. <laughs> 
tell you how much I love this toolbox. That was a toolbox that you uh, acquired. Yeah. I know. I love it when impounds come through and they got nice stuff on them and they leave to the junkyard. It just makes it all that much more better. All right, so let's see what we got here. Grab me that spacer. Let's see if this bit fits. At least something to start off with. It may start to go bigger. I want to grab those bite the channel locks that are on the uh, front of my truck. There, I don't think you should hold that with your hand. I mean, I think we should be using a vice, but. <laughs> We don't have one, so. All right, let's bring Aren't that. Are you gonna put a, a vice on your truck? Eh, where? If I put it there, there's no room to use it. Right, let me see that real quick, just before we get into this. That's not gonna help you out any. I'm guessing that bit's too small. I don't wanna use step bits. That's kind of my other issue with this. The what? Step bits, the ones that gradually get bigger. This is a 5 8 drill bit. This is not quite three quarter, but. Oh well, I guess we have no choice. Good thing that's aluminum, so it should eat right through that. No, that one's got a three quarter to it. Got a bigger one, so I don't know what happened to it. Just nibble it out to three quarter and see what happens. The thing is, I'm about to make that part bigger too. Yeah, that's probably about where it's at. It looks pretty close. Yeah, it's about three quarter. All right. Uh, let's do this over here. I'm gonna try to get those so you're kind of clamping more like that. You got a better bite on it because you don't want to put it all on one side. Go right over the uh, end right there. That's the part is I'm gonna have to drill the bottom piece first before it even gets in there. We got somewhere there. should probably be deep enough see how warm that is yeah look at that nice good implant oh yeah so before i put this into there let's let's just clean that off a little bit deburr it i'm not sure quite you're supposed to be using a file like this but that's all i got they actually have a tool for this that it works well or not, it's a different story. Okay, so the million dollar question is, is that deep enough? This gotta fit now. Let's put our blade up here for the moment. Let's drop that, how about that? Kinda of thinking I might need to go deeper with that, but as this pulls itself on there, it'll probably seat, but yeah, that's on there, that's fitting. Okay, so we need to we need to start with well this is kind of the fun part. Yeah, pulling the fan shroud might not be a great idea. Or at least lifting it up a little bit will help. The fan shroud's gotta go in before the blade does. The reason I pulled the fan shroud though is so that I can have access to the front of this to get to the bolts. You know what, let's do this. Let's start one of these bolts. 
and then we can put in this from an angle. Well, maybe we can put it in from an angle, I'm not sure on that. No. Son of a bitch, man. So I think it fucked up and I just ordered the wrong shit. But a little overcoming, we made it work. We now have a custom spacer as designed for this. Okay, that needs to go like that. The fun part is, is which one am I gonna get in first? Because the belt's pulling up and over. So I'm thinking, yeah, hold, just no, drop that down about halfway. Because I gotta put the blade in with it. Go down, 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 down. Okay. Find a hole here. There's one. Okay. See, got a bigger blade though. I was just noticing that. I just, it's kind of hard to order because they don't put all the specs up there. So I figured, fuck it, I'll order it. See what I go with. I can always order. They have one other blade. I can always order that one later. Okay, what's going on here? What are we hitting? Oh, drop that shroud. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one's there get this thing started I'm hoping these things grab more than a quarter inch of thread though don't want these to be on shallow yeah this one's got quite a bit of thread actually but it's pulling out so it's not gripping yet got this damn camera on but you can't see a thing I'm doing because it's Fucking shrouds in the way. All right, I got the top one. Fuck it. It usually, is a little easier if you take the fucking belts off. See, look at the space though between the fan and the uh, and the blade though. That could be an issue. Okay, that is in there. Let's get the blade. The blade's lined. Okay. So this would be the direct drive kit. Let's start get the other bolts in that way I can just slightly tighten them as I go. That way I don't put all the force on one one bolt. These are probably fucking grade five or some bullshit. Okay, that one's kind of grabbing. So let's go <coughs> up here over the right of that one. Let's see if I can get that one to start because that one's a lot closer. I may fucking come back and just fucking lock tie on these things. The red one or the blue one? I would like to I'd like I don't like using red if I'm ever gonna take something off. <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. Uh, all right, so what we're doing right now is we're lining the, back the blade up. The blade kind of popped off. The other bolts are longer, but they're also right here a whole lot closer. Makes a big difference. All right, that one's on. I was like thinking about the size thing, but then I, you know, thinking as well, like, well, it's going to be always turning, so that's going to kind of combat that too. This is definitely a half inch wrench. I 
I figured that because I got a, the 81 F-150 is a direct and uh, all the bolts are half. See, that's what I should have did. Well, she went to the junkyard and found a truck that was like the other one that had the direct kit on it from the factory. This is all aftermarket shit. Although I, I like the blade, but I don't like it being that short. So I may have to order the other blade that's more like the other one there. Yeah, a lot better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check, well, that's the thing I need to check. See if I can get specs on it. They didn't have any on the website. I'm gonna try to get specs on it, see if I can fucking see what the diameter is. This is an 18 inch, I think that's a, the other one's a 19 and a half or a 19. Obviously, both these parts are smaller than the OEM shit. But that doesn't really matter as long as it chooses the airflow. That's the important part. You can get the same airflow with smaller parts, you know, but that also may mean I have to change the fan shroud. Either way, I'm gonna keep that one in the truck in case so when I take this thing home for its 50 mile run, that'll be a good test drive to see how this works. And if this doesn't work, I can at least stop along the way and swap it back. Yeah. You know. And I got a new thermostat. And I got a new uh, pressure uh, pressure switch for the gauge. Let's see if that makes a difference too. Because I'm not 100%, that gauge is 100% either. Because I imagine where it's at, it should be fucking. Have you ever changed the, that sensor? Change it and see what happens. That's what I'm gonna do. It wasn't expensive, I think it was like less than 20 bucks. This right here, all together, I think it was like 60 bucks in parts. I think one was 30 and the other one was 20 something. Hmm. So it's not too bad. And if it doesn't work, oh well, I'll hang on to it. I'll maybe use it on the other truck. Get rid of the OE shit that's on there and put this aftermarket stuff a little bit nicer. Hmm. I like that. Like I said, I like the fan blade. No knocking that. It is a smaller engine. Well, yeah, this is the 460, so this thing is. I think it's a honker, but the bigger, you know, the bigger, bigger issue that I've haven't solved yet is the transmission. You know, they built this thing with a non-overdrive transmission for a reason, towing. But they also didn't design this truck. They didn't figure when they built these you were going to be driving anything above 65. Because you know, let's face it, back in the 80s, what was the speed limits? 55. 55. Yeah, well, the speed limits weren't that high, and so a lot of these trucks weren't. They were designed around the speed limits to figure, well, okay, you're not going to go this far, so they're doing all their testing and shit based upon those. All right, let's uh, straighten the edge of this radiator. That could be another problem, too. Hot as own piece of shit radiator. But it's like you said, right? Lifetime warranty. It is a lifetime warranty, but I'd rather it work right then it be a lifetime I mean that's why I haven't totally been 100% want to kill somebody over the uh, fan clutch thing because they're just having to keep warranty it but in the long run kind of makes it I have to do more work yeah and I'm not digging that that's why I bought when I I, I haven't installed my radiator yeah um, but I got the performance radiator oh no I at the time I didn't have much money and this right here was $130. After I blew up the one that was in here, I was just age fucking it, let go finally. Fucking, but uh, steel radiators for $300, $400. I mean, I spent the $300 on the other truck when I had to when I changed this radiator out. But that was when I had that money. Now I don't have the money. So basically, it's saying about 20 foot pounds of torque on these bolts, which is pretty much just hand tight. Yeah. So, we're going hand tight. I might be going more than 20 though, because I know I can put a lot more torque with my hands. Although I'm using a tiny ratchet, so. At least that feels a little better. I'm not rubbing my arm across this fucking edge of the radiator. And the camera's just staring at right nothing. Right your distributor. Yep. Or your uh, uh, distributor air cleaner. Pump or no, it's straight this? down in front of me. This? That's an air pump. That's oh, for yeah. smog. Oh, the smog pump. 
Yeah, air pump, smog pump, it's, it's all the same shit. Technical name is air pump. It just makes air and then shoots it in the back of the heads to help airflow. It's almost like compressing air and throwing it in there, but it's doing it to push the exhaust gases through and burn a little cleaner. Yeah. You don't have to have it. Well, you have to have it legally, but in California. Yeah, in California, all this stupid shit has to be there. It really doesn't do anything for your truck. But it has to be there. Looks like all these stupid vacuum lines and these breathers have to be there. So if you like them little Edelbrock breather caps that you put on and vent open, well those are illegal in California because it can't vent to the atmosphere. That's why it has that tube right there that goes right back to it. Right back to the air cleaner and it sucks that shit in and reburns it. So theoretically you are burning oil normally. You're burning oil vapor. That's to trap the oil vapor, suck it back in, and burn that shit off so it doesn't wind up in the atmosphere. You know, I was driving down the street uh, the other day, and I I'm up, come up next to a car, and I didn't notice it, but I had the window down, and immediately I'm smelling burning oil. I'm like, what the fuck? And I look over at the Nissan Altima, and the guy's just plume and smoke out his tailpipe. Not to stereotype, but it was a Mexican person driving it. Hey, okay. I'll tell you honestly, it's those are the people that are, they're actually a tight ass. My father-in-law is Mexican, straight. From I don't Mexico, fucking get it. You buy a car, and and my father-in-law, he is a tight ass when it comes down to cars. Here's the one thing: I would rather drive a piece of shit-looking car that runs right than drive a you know fancy-looking car that runs like shit. And I'll, every time I see they fucking got rims, you know, some whatever they can buy at AutoZone bullshit, fucking thrown on the car to, you know, make it look a little sportier or racier or whatever. But they don't fucking do a damn thing to the engine. All that shit's useless if the damn car don't run, isn't it? Yeah. You know? Kind of learned that one the harder way. Yeah. Spit shine is useless if your spit shine is sitting. Yeah. All you got is a fucking paperweight. What's going on here? Oh. Oh. Oops. Wrong hole, fool. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, that is what she said, but that one's in the wrong hole. Has to go in the one above it. I didn't even see that. Oh, okay. I didn't tighten it yet. Right on. There's another call holding. That's alright. Fucking way I go, bitch ass fucking. I heard he was crying too. Yeah, and I told him, don't worry about the call. I'm going to take care of it. I don't know. I talked talk to somebody the other day about the whole fucking rat me out thing, and it really is to go, you got backed into a corner. So I can't necessarily blame you for it. You know, like they did that shit intentionally, so it's not necessarily your fault, it's more theirs. Well, see, the thing is, I, you know. You back somebody into a corner, what do you expect them to do? They got to explain their fucking actions. And if explain their actions means they had inadvertently had to put somebody else's ass out there on the line. It is what it is. And unfortunately, I don't like doing that. And I don't like doing it either, but I understand the reality of it. Shit happens. But it ain't anything big I really got to worry about, so. Hello? Yeah, what's going on? Okay, what about it? Is it a reroute or is it our call? Okay, we're not picking up any reroutes right now. Truck Ford just he's new, he doesn't know the area. Alright, so yeah, go ahead and decline that for us. Alright, thanks. Let uh Truck Four know mm -hmm. that the call he copied is a reroute to disregard it. So in order to do the other two things I gotta do here, I gotta take uh, some stuff out. So there's, there it is installed. A little custom modification, not too bad, but it's installed now. I gotta change the thermostat and the um, ECT sensor. So that'll be nice for you.